Let me now tell you about a small weakness that uh, present generative AI systems have even when dealing with simple problems. Now I stress that this is a weakness at present. I am fairly certain that this weakness can be resolved. In fact, I will show you a way of resolving it and it's just a matter of time before this particular weakness is resolved. But because it is a weakness, we are going to recognize it and we're going to try and see what should we as humans do to counteract this weakness. So here's the weakness. If I give a problem that is unclear, present day generative AI systems make assumptions. They're very eager to respond uh, with a solution and when they do so, they will make assumptions. Let me show you a quick example. Go back to the example of converting Celsius to Fahrenheit that we saw. Now, we asked uh, uh, ChatGPT this question. Write a Python function to convert the temperature in degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. And very quickly, ChatGPT said, here, here you go. Here's, this, here's the Python code, right? The Python code makes several assumptions. Here are two of them. Firstly, it assumes that the input that is going to be given is actually going to be a number. I never said anything about the form in which the input was going to be given. But I can see from this code that ChatGPT is assuming it's a number because it is immediately doing some mathematical operations like multiply and divide and addition with the information that I have given. Perhaps the AI should have stopped and checked with me if I am going to give uh, the input as a number. You could argue that this is a very reasonable assumption, but I want you to realize it is an assumption. Secondly, the uh, code is uh, does not handle a situation where I give an illegal value. If I give an input that corresponds to a temperature that is below absolute zero, this is physically impossible. So it probably doesn't make any sense to translate that temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So today, as I said, we must learn how to ask clarifying questions. I can easily imagine, however, a future version of ChatGPT not responding like this. I can imagine a future version of ChatGPT responding instead like this. Wait, before I answer this question, I have some questions for you. I want to clarify some questions and here are those questions. What form factor are you going to give me the input? To use a more technical term, what data type can I assume temperature will be? Perhaps you respond by saying, don't make any assumptions, and then the code that ChatGPT will develop will perhaps consider many possibilities. That code would in some sense be more robust than the code that ChatGPT previously developed. But it would do that change in response to first clarifying this question. If instead we say that the input is just going to be a number, then the code it produced earlier was good enough. Secondly, it could ask about absolute zero. It could leverage the fact that it has read so many uh, pieces of information on the internet. It knows, in fact, that this is the value of absolute zero on the Celsius scale. So it could ask a specific question like that. And once again, we could clarify what we want to do in such a situation. Maybe we want the code to print some sort of error message or we want some other behavior. And having clarified that, the generative AI could produce the appropriate code. Today, this is a weakness, and because it's a weakness, we must learn to ask clarifying questions. Once these tools are able to ask such clarifying questions on their own, it remains to be seen how good they are. Maybe they're not as good as humans, and so maybe this is a role for us to continue to play. At any rate, since the tools today do not have this ability, we will spend time developing the ability to ask clarifying questions. But I must tell you that despite my best efforts to provide you with a set of skills that is useful going forward, there are no guarantees that these skills will always be relevant as the pace of technological improvement moves forward. 
Now let's test our understanding of clarifying questions. Here is a problem statement. Find the smallest number in a given list. Now we want to develop the ability to ask clarifying questions, but we must ask good clarifying questions. We shouldn't ask questions that are in some sense meaningless or wasteful. So here are four such questions. You tell me which of these are good clarifying questions.